kind of look at you look at that game just kind of what, what two months ago. How did you kind of build on that confidence for these guys? Well, I think anytime you see yourself doing things right and making plays, that helps you improve as a player because I think one of the number one things for a defensive back is to have confidence. Um, and you gain confidence by going out and making plays and doing things right. I think uh, a culmination of, of this is, is you have four defenses in four years. It'd be like one of you guys changing, four, changing jobs every year. You don't know what to expect. You don't know what the next guy wants. So after 11 games, going in that 12th game, or the 13th game, I'm sorry, those 15 bowl practices was really helpful for our defense and our back end because we could slow it down and basically have a spring practice before spring practice. And I thought those reps really helped our guys. Um, and it helped some guys that hadn't played a lot as they, they didn't play a lot all year. And all of a sudden they, they flash in the bowl game. You go, where did this guy come from? Those 15 practices was how that happened. How what? difficult is it to replace a guy like Kane? Like Kane seemed to do everything. Kane, I've said it before, is Mr. Reliable. Kane's, Kane's not the guy that is going to go to the combine or pro day and run the fastest 40. He's not going to jump the highest. He's not going to have the strongest bench, but he's going to show up on tape. He's a football player, and uh, he's a quiet leader. Uh, he's a leader, but he doesn't say a whole lot. But, boy, when you turn the tape on the cut-ups from the previous year, from 19, he's all over it, making plays in the pass game, in the run game. And you go, man, you look out there and go, man, he ain't very fast, he ain't very this, but he's always making plays. And so um, I'll take that. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of fast guys going in the wrong direction, but I'm a big fan of playmakers. What's the competition like right now? And, and obviously you don't have Russ out there, so it's a little different. And you got a long time before a game, but still spring is important. Well, uh, you know, I always believe in a healthy competition. And, um, you know, we try to – we try to help each other in our room, and I want the guys to all pull for each other. Um, I think, uh, you know, with the freshmen coming in, Lovey Jenkins flashed um, two or three times yesterday making some plays on the ball. I think at times when he has a defense that he's rep now three or four days in a row, he starts to get it. When you add something new that he hadn't seen, his head swimming, which is natural for a freshman. But I'm so happy to have him here to have these 15 practices to prepare. I wish I wish there was a mandated rule that all freshmen had to be here in the spring. Uh, but it's been good. Um, obviously, Jack Fago yesterday had his best practice of the uh, of the of the four so far. Um, he's doing a great job, and, and he's able to get a lot more reps. And uh, you know, going from being a walk-on guy to a scholarship guy, now he's performing like a scholarship player, and that's nothing but confidence. And he's gaining confidence. I'm excited about our room.